Hello, Kyle from Offroad Consulting, and today we are going to install our new worn bumper for our Can Am Defender, but also our new worn Axon 5500 winch with synthetic rope. And I've been really anxious to try one of these on a side by side, so we're going to get it all mounted up, test it out, try it out, and see what everybody thinks. Now, the reason why I'm taking this off is because this is not needed for the Axon. This is the solenoid setup for the Pro Vantage I have on there currently, but this solenoid is not needed for the Axon, so this I'm pulling off. out with the old Pro Vantage. Now, one of the main reasons I was not a big fan of the setup currently is I always had to reach in here and I couldn't see the winch line as it spooled on the drum, which is important to me because I wanna make sure it's spooling properly. But also reaching back in here all the time, you get yourself covered in whatever is all over the tires and the bumper. I like having a bumper mounted winch that I can get to easily without having to crawl underneath anything. Okay, so this mounts like so.
Okay, so this is the basic bracket tape, which I'm going to finish installing. And then this will bolt on like that. And that's what the pretty much the end result is going to look like with the winch sitting on top. So as you see, a completely different look for the front end, but it gives me plenty of access to the winch as I need it to get to working everything, including the engage disengaged knob. So it'll give it a much nicer look and appearance. Plus, it does not take away much from the approach angle. It gives me nice shackle mounts on the front, and I actually really like the setup. Basically, I was just separating the bolts for the winch and the bolts for the fair lead. I want to make sure I have the right wrenches because some stuff nowadays is metric, some stuff nowadays is standard. Just making sure I have the right. Like there. It's not 11 16th, so it is metric. Make sure I have the right. Yeah, so I have the right Allen, just do not have the right box in. We'll make sure I have the right side. And it is a 17 millimeter.
Now, per the instructions, you're supposed to feed the bolts up from the bottom, but the problem with that is if you use a deep well, the bolt falls into the socket, you won't be able to push it through. Shallow well, you'll have enough thread exposure to push it up through and tighten it up. Make sure you have a nice long extension. Now, simply because I always have to do something incorrectly, it's just my nature, I bolted the winch and I forgot to look which bolt on the winch is red, which one is black. So I'm going to refer to the instructions. Install the red and black power cables to the winch. Motor terminals before installing the winch to the vehicle. Yeah, I guess I should have uh, read that part. Okay, so instead of uninstalling this, let's see if we can use a little technology. Okay, so what is on here is there's a red dot on the positive side, which is the bottom one. Now, nice part about the Axon winch, it does not have that solenoid. All it has is a positive and a negative on the 5500 at least, just like the winch on my Jeep. So I just gotta go to the positive negative power source or the battery, which on this has a, a post up under the hood and I will be good. So now I have to make sure I have the right size wrench for these little nuts that go on the back side of that. Add winch, plug in, yes, searching for your winch.
connecting to the winch. That's better. So, pair. So now it's connecting to the winch. Okay, yes. Device is now connected to the receiver. So, do, 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 do. So, model. Done. So now, I have the winch. So let's test it out. We're gonna hit winch. Controls, hold on, lock. So, power out. Let's power out. Power in. And you can see the battery, temperature, weight capacity. This is, you can actually see where everything's functioning. You can see how everything shifts. Neat little app to play with. go.